winner, Ko of the Union. The winner of Exhibition Match 2 is... Our one and only Ko. Nice going, Ko. Good job, Ko. Ko, you're looking especially good today. That was amazing. I can learn from it. This is the worst. Oh no, my dumplings. You strong, me get stronger too. Oh, that's right, you talked like a caveman for some of the show. Let's go, Cryer. Everyone, please give them a round of applause. And now introducing two tamers from the Data Squad, Marcus and Thomas. Penultimate battle, boys. Ah, Thomas! Kamachi, do you know him? You don't? Thomas is a genius who graduated from university at the age of 13. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey, you're strong. This'll be fun. This is teamwork. Got it? I got it. Take it easy on us. Go! Mirage Galgum on burst mode! Let's go head on. Here goes. Shine Graham on burst mode. Uh, take it easy on us. We just have two, like, ultra-level burst modes. Now, exhibition match three. Ready? Begin! I always like the companions from Dusk more. What about you? I, I don't really care about the companions in either game. But yeah, I think Dusk is better, mostly because I like Chief Julia more than Glare. Whoa, why are you so fast, dude? It's not that serious, man. Oh my word, that fast and that much damage? Can you calm down? I'm actually going to try Burst Counter and see how well it does. And then I think I'm going to have to heal here, unfortunately. Even though I really want to try and get the poison, because a poison would be absolutely amazing here. Alright, that's a double hit. Man, you do so much. Nah. First counter doesn't seem very worth. Oh, nice dodge. That helps. Nice and double crit. Zombamon, despite having the highest attack stat, does not appear to be doing very much damage compared to my other Digimon, which doesn't really make sense to me. Ah, the first helps a little bit. I think I can go without a heal. See how much this does to specifically Mirage Galgamon burst mode. Oh man, that does even less. Alright, maybe Zombamon is doing pretty well, actually. Really want to poison here? Crip. Alright, we're gonna have to heal on Zombamon's turn, assuming he lives this. Which he won't, unless he dodges again. And I get crit instead, that's really neat. I think the first counter is doing pretty well. Mostly because there are so many turns that end up happening where it's like I don't even get to do anything other than heal. So burst mode being like, hey, you're getting damage no matter what is pretty useful. I'm a little worried. Putting together our, our full DigiRT and our full repair tees, we have like 35-ish, give or take. I'm slightly, just slightly worried about having enough for the final fight. Who's taking... You're both at about the same. I think Mirage Galgamon is more annoying because he has that Starlight EX move. Oh, that was good damage, even if it was a crit. Yep, there it is. Please live the Skull Mammoth Mon. Uh... I had bought more items. Dare I go for a poison and hope that Zombamon lives? That sounds stupid. I should do this instead. At least we're not getting status affected. That's all that really matters. Oh, you got burst counter too, huh? That's annoying. Alright, just keep hitting on Mirage Galgamon here. How long does resistance reduction last? I don't know. And honestly, I don't think resistance down really does that much in the game anyways. It never seems to make much of a difference in my experience. I'm sure it's doing something, but I just don't think it's implemented very well. I should have used burst counter instead of doing that. That's my bad. I'm gonna hope and pray for a poison here, because a poison, especially on Shine Greymon, would be phenomenal. Sadly did not get it. Oh, hey, that must be your unique move. Oh, this is beautiful. Your unique move sucks against uh, Palamon because he resists fire a lot. 
Yeah, we are over five hours. Stream has gone longer than I hoped it would, but it'd be that way sometimes. We've only got one more fight after this. We'll be done soon. Definitely, if no one dies here, which they might to Starlight EX, please live. Ha! Ah! I really just want to use Burst Counter, but I can't because you do like over 3,000 damage in a single hit, which is really annoying. I guess it's around 30 to 45 minutes. You think it's gonna take me another 30 minutes to do this? I don't think it's gonna take that long. Like, we're already over halfway done with this fight because Mirage Galgamon's almost dead. As soon as Mirage Galgamon is dead, this is gonna snowball in our favor. We'll take out Shine Greymon in no time. Just depends on how long it takes to kill Chronomon, and I mean, it won't be fast, but I don't think it's gonna take that long. I know I still have Chronomon. I don't think it's gonna take that long to be Chronomon. He's only one Digimon instead of two, and also we can spam 0-1 Crusher on him. That stun is really annoying. No, no, no. Set up burst counter and then heal with Skull Mammoth Mon. That way, no matter what, we're getting at least a little damage going. The Geo Mega Napalm! Or Magma na uh, Napalm? I don't know. Oh, dude, triple reverse? Oh my goodness! I'm so glad I did that. I did over 2,000 damage. That's like two hits from Zombamon. That's insane. Reverse again? I think you only get one reverse. Absolutely set up burst counter again. It's way better than I realized. I should not have underestimated. I always thought it was good, but I didn't think it was that good. And then just heal again and let them kill themselves. I don't. I think we're going to have at least 10 full DigiRT going out of this. And then we still have like 18 full repair Ts. So I think we're going to be good on healing items as well. Oh, yes. Reflect the damage onto him and kill him. I only got one reverse, dang it. Still almost got him. Nice, nice, nice. Get a kill here. You're out, and then 0-1 Crusher kills you for sure. And we will definitely get a level up. At least one level up, up to full out of this. Alright, boys. Final battle, here we come. We're almost done with the game. Oh, stretch. Ah, oh, yep, level 60 for the final fight. Let's get it. Zombamon is 8 short of 999 attack. What'd you get? Shining Ray, really good move. Uh, goodbye Acid Rain. Winner, Ko of the Union. The winner of Exhibition Match 3 is our one and only Ko. Great, Ko. Wow, this is exciting. Yeah, I can feel my blood boiling. Ah, Thomas lost. Komachi, who are you rooting for anyway? I'm a Light Fang Tamer. Who do you think? You're good. You always fight the same way. A real man always goes head on. The way you fought was truly amazing. I would like to congratulate you. Great battle. All right, get lost, nerds. Give a nice round of applause to the two from Data Squad. Yeah, I'll see you guys again in the PS2 game whenever I play it. I wonder who's next. I bet it'll be really strong. Ko, good luck. Oh, he's coming out. I, I still don't know who this person is. I know who Chronomon is. I don't know who this guy is. Kogure. This can't be. I can't believe it's him. Ko's going to have trouble with him. Chief, do you know who he is? He's at the forefront of Digimon research. There's probably no one that knows more about Digimon than he does. I bet I do. He knows Digimon more than Digimon know themselves. Is he really that great? You should watch this battle closely. You better not lose, no matter who it is. Oh, that's right. Someone told me this in Dust 2. Like, Kagure, he's the old man that uh, talks to you and gives you stuff in Digimon World DS. Yes, right, but this is him younger, I guess. Here's our last guest, introducing Kagure. Ko, you're indeed an amazing tamer. I can clearly see the bond between you and your Digimon. I want to see that power firsthand. Chronomon! Here goes. Prepare yourselves. Alright, all we gotta do is beat Chronomon. And now, exhibition match four. Ready, begin. B 
beat Chronomon and we are done. Please don't be faster than me. Oh no, that's a bad first sign. He also has Starlight EX, which sucks for Zombamon. Oh boy. So definitely burst counter. And honestly, as much as I hate it, I think we heal with Zombamon. Because Zombamon doesn't have a good multi-hit move other than... Other than uh, Double Blade, which I don't think will do that much. 0-1 Pressure should do a lot. Uh, not a lot, but his health bar is moving, which is what I'm looking for. Chronomon is fat. This is going to take a minute. Those crits are nice, though. Hopefully he uses some moves that are not holy, so that way Zonmamon doesn't lose too much HP. Ah, oh, cool. That's not holy at all. Still did a lot. Double reverse. Nice. Oh, see? Yep, that's... Dude, I totally forgot how OP burst counter is. Burst counter is going to absolutely destroy him. No matter what, every turn, if possible, we burst counter. And we'll be done with this in no time. Getting over a thousand damage reflected back to him. You love to see it. Uh, because it's a dark attribute, I think Slicing Slash will do more than Double Blade. Alright, it's not bad. It was a crit, but it's not bad. That's gonna hurt, but should reflect a lot, hopefully. Of course you get a crit and kill. Must be nice. If you hadn't crit, Skull Mammothmon would've lived, and you might've gotten another reflect and taken like a thousand damage instead of like 800. That's disappointing. Also, now Apollomon doesn't get to use Burst Counter, which really sucks. I wish Apollomon was slightly slower. <laughs> so that, like, Skull Mammothmon would get a turn first. Yeah, winning this fight, like, the, we're gonna win. Because, look, he's already almost in half. But, like, the speed of winning this fight all comes down to how quickly I can get burst counters off. Can you stop critting? You know what? If I can get to Zonbamon's turn... No, don't burst counter here. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to switch Zombamon out because there are too many holy moves. If I can switch him out for Phoenixmon, who is super bulky, and then just spam, uh, spam the thing. Spam burst counter, we'll, we'll win easily. I just have to be able to switch out Zombamon because he dies too easily. Please don't one-shot Zombamon. Live, live. Less than 5,000. Less than 5,000. Of course you crit! Can you stop? It must be nice to just get lucky every single turn. I hate RNG in video games. This is exactly why I don't want to play games like SMT. I already have to deal with RNG absolute shenanigans enough. You really want me to play a more difficult turn-based game with RNG in it? No thank you. Sounds like more frustrating and boring than it is fun. Oh, thank goodness, I finally get a turn to switch you out. Get Phoenix Mon in here. He'll live hits easy. He's a bulky bird. Oh, and we get to set up burst counter. Let's go. It's over. You're done. I should have used a full Digi RD there, but it doesn't matter. I'm confident. I'm too confident now. Burst counter me up. Hit me with a multi-hit move. Do it. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Three reflex, please. Only one is very unfortunate. I'm looking for two minimum, ideally. You can keep using 0-1 Crusher for damage. And then Phoenix Mon is just going to heal every turn, basically. Even if we don't really need it that much. Like, right now, we don't really need it. But, uh... We don't need to heal that much, but I'm going to heal anyway. Like, why risk it, you know? It's not like Phoenix Mon is going to do very much, if any, damage. I wanted to see how many full repairs we had. We have like 16. We're, we're set. We got this in the bag. There's no way we can lose this one. Oh, dude, they still had the reverses. Let's go. Burst counter is so much more OP than I remember. I always knew it was good. That's why I always put it on him. But I did not remember it being this good. Then we just get a little extra chip damage in there with 0-1 Crusher. And it's, it's all said and done. Good thing I bought armor and put it on Phoenix Mon, even though I wasn't planning on using him originally. Good call past me. Aw, oh, give me some reflects. Triple reflect. 
I'll take two. I'll never be upset at two. All right, well, this is basically over already. If I get a double or a triple reflect, I'm pretty sure he dies. 80% of the damage in this fight is going to be re from reflect. You best believe it is. I play to win. After Seo and uh, Yoshi used all those garbage insect uh, status moves on me, you best believe I'm just going to burst mode my way to victory. Absolutely. If I get two reflects here, you might die. If I get three reflects, you're definitely dead. So, either way, I don't think you're getting another turn. Like, you get this turn and then you're done, I'm pretty sure. Aw, oh, not hitting... Not hitting my boy over there, you coward. Oh, double reflect, big damage. You're out, let's go. It's just that easy, chat. It's just that easy. Level 61 to end the playthrough. Apollomon, I think, learned a skill at the last minute. What's your last skill you learned? Fatal Cross. You can get rid of Celestial Cross. It doesn't matter, I'm not gonna play the game anymore. <laughs> this is, it's over. Winner, Co of the Union. No way, who could have imagined Kogure would be defeated? Great, Ko. I'm a legend. This is amazing. Everyone, look. My buddy made it to the end. Get lost, Pulsa. Good job, buddy. Stop calling me that. What are you saying? Ko is my buddy. I do not know any of these people. Hey, Ko is representing Light Fang. Everyone's so selfish. But I guess you can't blame them. I can. Congratulations. What a splendid battle. Looks like your skills are for real. I'm glad to have had the chance to fight you. I have a gift for you for showing me such a good time. Will you accept it? It's Chronomon data, right? Yeah, it's a portion of my data taken from me. Yeah, oh no, it's Chichimon. Yeah, Chichimon data. And then with Chichimon, you can get Chronomon. Use it effectively. Please give a round of applause for Kagure. Later, nerds. That ends the exhibition battles for the day. Thank you all for staying till the end. Does it roll the credits again? I don't remember. I had butterflies in my stomach as if I had been fighting in the arena. I could have beat them more easily. What a piece of trash. Wonderful. I like the Dusk team more just because Cheetah isn't on the Dusk team. I'm so proud of you as a friend who started Digimon together. What? Did you see me rooting for Toma? What are you talking about? Also, you called him Toma, not Thomas. That's weird. Good job, my friend. All right. Let's go back to... I assume I have to go back to the Union Room, right? Yep. Let's go to the Union Room, get the last of the dialogue. I don't think they hit you with the credits again, but they might. I don't remember. And then we'll get our reward, which I don't care about. And then it'll be game over. That'll be the end of the playthrough. We're going to end it like 5 hours, 25 minutes. That's actually ideal for rendering videos out. Bum, 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 bum. Phoenix Mon came in, uh, not clutch necessarily. I'm sure he would have won anyways, but he came in pretty handy at the end there. Apollo Mon, as expected, is the real, he's the real MVP. Burst counter, OP, plus nerf. You are the pride of life, Fenko. I'm not sure I could have done that well. We were right in letting you handle it. What a great battle. On behalf of everyone, I congratulate you. But don't let it get to your head and be satisfied with this. Keep reaching for the top. I want you to lead the Light Fang. Yeah, I'll take the job. Well then, the reward is special this time. Don't forget to stop by Shine Center. Well done. Thank you for all the claps in chat. We are the champions, my friends. I can't even remember what the reward is for this. What even is it? Tamer points, 64,000 bits, Digimon Lab, whatever that does. Because of you, many Digimon are happy, thank you. And then we'll just take a quick look here. 100% completion. He's done it, chat. Game, set, match. Well, I want to go back to the Digi Farm to wrap up the playthrough. But that is going to be it. Digimon World Dawn, 100% complete, just like Digimon World Dusk. He's done them both. I like to go to this back area over here to end the game. I don't, if Dark Dramon has anything for me, I think it's like the ultimate helm. Because he like gives you the ultimate stuff. What is this Divermon doing here? I really like this place. Hey, so do I. Can you like screw off? You're blocking my... This is really rude. 
Alright, well, you're a piece of trash. I'm just going to go to my bed then. What a piece of garbage. But anyways, there you have it. Ended the game with my boys Phoenixmon, Apollomon, Skull Mammothmon, Zonbamon, WarGreymon, and Jumbo Gamemon. Please put Apollomon in another Digimon game. But uh, that, that's it. For those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, obviously, you can't catch it live anymore because it's over. But if you want to catch me doing stuff live, that playtime is inaccurate because of hyperspeeding. But if you want to catch me doing other stuff live, Digimon or otherwise in the future, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate support either way. I don't know when I'll do another Digimon playthrough. I don't know what Digimon playthrough I'll do next. Uh, I hopefully won't take too long. I'd like to do another one relatively soon because I waited so long on Digimon. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer. Much appreciated, Raptor. Curse you all might and your inability to be quiet. But, uh... I don't know when I'll do another Digimon playthrough, but I'll probably do another one soon because I waited a long time waiting for a Survive release date that never happened. And, of course, if Survive ever does come out, I'll play it as soon as it does. But, uh, hopefully I'll do another Digimon playthrough in the near future. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in another playthrough, Digimon or otherwise. Until then, farewell.